Hi, welcome to Java programming session. In the previous session, we have completed the concept of filtrators for parallel processing. Now we are going to have an understanding of two array functionalities, which is also available in ArrayList. Uh, we are going to implement that followed by, we'll continue with trees, binary search trees, and the further concepts in sequence. So we are going to conduct ArrayList to array implementation. This is what we are going to do today. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to use array list documentation from documents.oracle.com, which is the official documentation. So as you already know, array list comes from java.util package, and you can quickly define the type of elements you want the array list to store. Now within this array list, there are a few functions, which is to array, and you can also define the size or the type of the array in which you want to paste in. So what do we have here? So to array is a functionality which returns an array containing all of the elements in the list in proper sequence from last, from the first element to the last element. So suppose we have an array list and we have certain elements in it. So what can we do? We can quickly convert the list into an array. Okay, so array is a dis different data structure. List is a different data structure. With arrays, what you can do, we can quickly convert the list into an array. Okay, that is what we can do with this two array functionality. So I'm going to start Eclipse and we're going to implement the functionality. There are two functions. One is two array. Second one is two array with the type defined. So in case if you want to convert the list into an array of a specific type, which means string type, integer type, double type, float type, whatever is the type or any custom class type. So you can define that as well. Okay. So we can convert the list into arrays as well as we can convert a list into array with a specific array, which means we can define the type of return type of that array. Now taking you to the, to the project here. So we are going to implement a new Java project and let us call it as array list to array project. Now within this array list to, I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to say to array test. So I'm going to create a two array test. I'm going to create the functionality public static void main. And I'm going to define string array of arguments. And I'm going to define the scope. Now, so what are we going to do? We're going to get a quick implementation of array list. We're going to put in some elements and then we are going to convert them into an array. Okay, here is the two array functionality. So I'm going to create a new array list. I'm going to define, let's say the array list is going to be string and we are going to store some string values in it. So let's say I'm going to call string and I'm going to call it, let's say names. So let's say I'm going to create a list known as party guests. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. This is not a string. This is an array list of string. I'm going to create a local variable array list of strings. Okay. So now in the party guests, we are going to invite a few people. Let's say I'm going to call party guests dot add. So here I'm going to, let's say I'm going to call myself because it's my party. Now let's say I'll call you also. Then I'm going to call a few more. Let's say I'm going to call let's say Salman, Shahrukh, etc. Okay, so I've got a few names here. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to quickly convert these lists into an array. Okay. So suppose 
I have got these party guests and I want to perform some array based operation. So I'm going to convert that into an array. Okay. So you can quickly convert that into an array list. You can call this functionality to array and what will be the return you're going to get an array in return and let's call it as array of guests. Okay. Now this array of guests will also be of an object type. Okay. You can quickly create it as an object type or else you can also define the type. You can also define it as an array list also. No, no, sorry. You can quickly create it as an array. So I can define this as a string array. And I can cast the type to string. So what I have done, I have converted the array in, I have converted the list into an array and I have defined that the array is of the type strings. And now I have got array guests here. So with this functionality, I can quickly access them on the basis of their index, the way we uh, generally call the arrays. Okay. And if you want to understand the functionality of arrays also, so I'll give you a quick uh, understanding of that also. So we'll quickly go to classes. And here you have the arrays. Okay. Here are the arrays. So what is an array? So this extends the object class. This class contains various methods for manipulating arrays, such as sorting and searching. Okay. This class also contains static factory that allows arrays to be viewed as a list. So what we can do, these are the functionalities. We can quickly convert array into a list. We can perform binary search in the array, we can perform binary search for characters, binary search for different variables, type of float and all that stuff. We can quickly do binary search mechanisms. Okay. Then okay. we can copy these structures followed by, we can copy a custom range of elements from the array. We can quickly convert them into the hash code. Okay. Uh, whatever the content we have, we can quickly convert it into an hash code also. Okay. So these are some of the methods, which is by default, not available in the array list. So that is why we sometimes convert that into an array and perform the following. So whenever you have to perform a binary search uh, within your data structure, by default, it was not available in the array list. But if you convert that array list into a uh, array, you can perform binary search. You can perform you now you can convert the contents into a hash code. Okay. Suppose you, you took the password of a user, uh, and you took password of n number of users and you want to convert all of them into an hash code. Okay. Like that. So, so we can perform that plus we have functionalities available for parallel sorting of the elements within the array. Okay. So these are a lot of methods and functionalities, which the arrays offers and we can use them and we can perform that. Is that clear? So yes. is the performance uh, is a binary search and all that stuff. So we got the array guests here. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to call array guests and out of the array, let's say I want to access the element at index number zero. Okay. This functionality by default was not available. Okay, so let's say I'm going to call system dot out dot print. I'll just system dot out dot print line array guests of at an element. Okay, so we can quickly access the elements in this format. So now what am I trying to do? I'm trying to access element at index zero of array. So am I going to print it? So once I print, uh, object cannot be cast to the string. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Not a problem. So it is directly converting it into an object array. So I'll take it as an object array and I'm going to run it. 
whatever the element we are getting in here. So we got the element as Devanshu, which was the first element. Okay, so we can keep it into the object array itself. Okay, now what next we can do? We can perform binary search within that. Okay, we can search the list of elements as well as we can get the hash code, which is the most important part. So what I can do, let's say I've got an array guests and I can quickly get the hash code okay, of the object. So if I want to get system.out.println, I'm going to call array guests dot hash code and I can print in hash code of the array whatever data let's say if I have to transmit this data over the network or I want to keep that stored into a database so I might be hashing the data and then sending it okay so now you can see that I have got a hash generated for that array. Okay. So if I want to perform hash matching and all that stuff, we can do it. Okay. So that's how the two arrays are implemented when it comes to array list to array functionality. Got my point? In case, yes. instead of converting it into, instead of type casting, you can do it string array and in case if you have a type of an array you can define that functionality also here okay but eventually what you can do is you can access the object array and then you can use it according to your requirement so whenever we have to perform a binary search on any of the sequence what we can quickly do is we can convert it into an array and perform the binary search get the hash code so these are the two important functionalities which can be implemented with the array list to array functionality. Is that clear? Okay. Is it clear, right? Yes. 